Throw it in there. Oh, in the wall. Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. I'm Evil Rabbit. So today we're going to see if I can take down that Monroe monster. If you guys watched FD this weekend, you guys know it was a crazy event. Round 4 was even crazier with the finals with JTP and Von Gittin Jr. So we're going to see if we can tackle the Monroe monster here today in my S14. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. All of which are found in the description box below and on top of the screen. So let's get to it. So we are in my S14. We are going to see if we can tackle this Monroe monster here on a set of Corsa, which I believe we got to go back this way. Yeah, we do. We're going to go right back this way to get to, you know, the starting grid. So this track, definitely a fun track. It was crazy. This model is not the best. I'll leave, you know, the link in the description box below for the track. As well as my 14, if you don't already have it. So we do a little heatsy uppy of the tires. Do a little scrubbing of our tires here. Before we take on this monster. Scrub off the front tires a little bit. Alright, so we're gonna go and see what we can actually do here on this track. Not excited to see what happens, but I am excited to see what happens, so let's do it. Not sure if the 14's gonna have enough. Oh, a little wall tap. Nope, don't think the 14 has enough. Actually, I think I'm in. Oh, that's why. Ha! <laughs> I'm in the wrong wheel setting. I was only at 540 degrees, which is what I have set for racing so we'd go back to pits <clears throat> that would be why i initiated weird and i don't think the gearing was quite right so we're gonna go back to pits and switch the gearing so fail on my part for being in the wrong profile i was in the wrong setting i was in my fanatec for my r factor 2 race setup which is only 560 degrees of rotation because it's a gt3 car now we're on full 100 okay that makes more sense <laughs> i wondered why i was so stiff too Ugh rip to my wheel setup so we're gonna come back and try this again now it feels better so now let's heat up our tires and see what we can do all right we're gonna give this a go we did adjust the wheel cam a little bit if you guys know as you guys can now see the shifter and the handbrake as well as the dashboard and everything so did a little bit of a uh, wheel cam change if you like the different wheel cam let me know down in the comments let's do it throw it in better gear ratio kind of on the wall a little bit twitchy oh oh i ran away out We managed to pull it somewhat back in. And this one has a front clip here, unlike the old one, the new one, which goes all the way wide. So for first run out, not too terrible. It was not a 100% terrible run. It was not the best run. I don't think this car is up to par for power-wise. Car is only about 530 horsepower, or so so we might be at a power disadvantage for this track. We're going to give it another go. We may switch up to one of the higher power cars. Maybe my M235 drift car. And see what we can do with that. So we're going to give this one more go. Quick flick in. Oh. Duh, scrubbing the wall. threw it out all the way out way too far so bring it back in we're gonna run this outer edge like they were 
run that outer edge. So I don't think this car is quite up to par. So let's go grab a... Alright, so we got the M235 out. 835 horsepower or so. So this one should have the power to do this. If it doesn't, then I need to uh, learn how to drive, apparently. So we're going to heat them up. There we go. Getting those tires nice and warm here on the Monroe Monster. So that we have all the grip to run the bank. And hopefully we don't pull a Chelsea Denofa or a Vongen Jr. going to the wall. So we're going to see what we can do with this M235. Much more power. As you can tell, much, way more power. Just a little wall tap on exit. Getting in that zone though. Quick flick. Pulling it back in. There we go. I'm gonna quick flick that inner clip and come across the line. Oh, as we biff it in the end, but we did cross the finish line. Definitely crinkled up the back end of this M235, but we managed to get a decent run. So we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna run the outer section like they were running in the actual course. Oh, oh, okay. Don't do that. Look like a, look like a noob. Definitely want to throw some tandems here on Evergreen Speedway here in Seto. Gonna be getting some of the boys on, and we're gonna be doing some FD style tandems with some new cars and stuff that I'm working on. So. Let's uh, go full send. See if we can't get a better run. Early initiation. Oh, little wall tap. Nothing major, we managed to somewhat come off of that. Did shatter our rear window though. Popped our trunk a little bit. Ran that a little wide, we were able to bring it back in. Oh, I said I was going to run the inner one, but apparently I ran that inner one. I was going to run the outer one. So we kind of uh, definitely biffed that car a little bit. I feel like we need one good run in a car that everybody knows and took one and two in the event. Well, took the first one round three and round four. Vaughn getting Junior's Mustang. So we're going to go grab that. We'll be right back. Not entirely how sure how this car is going to drive, but you know what? Oh, it's sequential. Oh, I don't think I have a sequential set up. I don't fail. We're going to have to uh, use paddles. Oh, it should be fun. I don't have my sequential set up right now here in Assetto. So we're going to have to use pedals or paddles here for this run, but hopefully we'll be able to uh, just throw it in fourth and be done. So uh, yeah, let's give it a shot. Vaughn getting Junior's RTR here at Monroe. Throw it in fourth, kick it in. I thought I was going to stay high up on the bank, but unfortunately, I kind of came off a little bit. Oh, there we go. I did have to downshift in the third, so unfortunately, we're going to have to use the paddle to downshift. So maybe we can get a good run on the bank and uh, hold it up there. We kind of threw too much angle in it, I think. Car is definitely a fun car to drive. So we're gonna give it a one more go here for today's episode. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media, all of us found in the description box below. Von getting Junior's RTR, taking round three and four here of the Formula Drift Championship. So let's do this. Throw it in there. Oh, in the wall? 
What? Oh, we were running in that wall. Ah, oh, I kind of threw it a little bit out. Well, we managed to bring it back towards the end. Definitely a fun car to rip. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode here on Aceta Corsa. And as always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.